you said that the coward will say in his heart, I will not live. I told you, when my heart shook in its cage, the only things I was not afraid of were the things that I could see within the four corners of my room. I learned to sleep with the lights on, just in case the darkness invaded in too hard. You said, this gift of time is like a hand grenade. I told you, I know. But my palms are like the hands of a two-year-old, too weak and naive to be able to comprehend this potency and too innocuous to do more than just play with it. You said, the bravest thing you can do in this life is live. I told you, I'm breathing, ergo, I live. You laughed. My logic made sense, so you paused and I waited. You said, breathing is not enough. Waking and sleeping and doing it again, this monotonous process is definitely not enough. I was furious. I thought the bravest thing I have ever done in this life is to keep living, to stop hugging my sheets, stop nailing my hours to the bunk bed that cowers beside my four walls. I thought these four walls cannot make up my whole world. But right now, these four walls are the only part of my world that I can bear. You said, I know what you're thinking. But I did not stumble over my words when I told you to live and not die. Like Sarah, I laughed. I laughed because I thought you must have been right. Of course, you told me to live because I guess you knew that if I held these, this life in my hands, I might just forget and let it go. You said, I did not stumble over my words when I told you to live and not die. Like Sarah, I did laugh. The bravest thing you can do in this life is live. But right now, these four walls are the only part of this world that I can't bear. You told me, the bravest thing you can do in this life is live because breathing, just breathing is not enough. I said, I have loved you since the very first moment I heard you speak my name. But right now, these four walls are everything I have ever wanted in life. And no, they are not everything I have needed. They are not everything I have needed. But But the weight of the mountain crushing my heart is too hard to bear right now. And no words can begin to even scale and reach the peak of the mountain that is over me right now. I told you. I have loved you since the very first moment you spoke my name. But right now, there are questions. Like, why does loving you make my heart feel like molten lava? Too bright a pain to hide behind the mask of a church lover. 
And I know you said you called me by name. But I've been wondering, if I did change it, would I, would I still be called by you? I told you, right now, even breathing alone feels like confronting a freight train head on. The only thing I can feel is fear. And if I have ever known how to pray, it seems like the words don't even reach my tongue right now. And in all of the languages of men and angels that I have learned to bend with this tongue, the only words left to ask, left to speak, are help, Lord, help. And I'm waiting for the dawn to arrive or for the strong man that has invaded my life to leave, whichever comes first. You tell me, I know what you've been thinking. But I told you to live because I want you to. Move beyond just breathing. I love you too deeply to consign you to a life of just four walls. And of all of the hearts that I have carried in my hands, yours, I cradled out of darkness. I knew what I was getting into when I committed myself to loving you. So come, peace, be still, my valiant one. Thank you. Just because them to rise far beyond maximum. No the only words left to ask goes because you were the only person with the key to my home. Yeah, son, that don't make sense.